In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to connect database to Laravel 11. That's your MySQL database to Laravel 11. Now, there are some things that have changed in our connection to Laravel right now. Uh, Laravel 11 has come and has brought a lot of changes. Uh, changes in the way we install, changes in the way we connect to the database. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you those things that have changed so that you can be aware of it. So before we get started, my name is Enes. Um, I'm a software developer. So try and let's get started by subscribing to our YouTube channel. So let's get started. So the next thing is to, well, the first thing you need to do right now is to go to phpMyAdmin, which is here. So in this place, I'm going to create a new database. I'll come here and say create a new database. So I'm going to call this Laravel. 11 db laravel 11 db underscore db and i click on create okay so i've created in um, a database called laravel 11 underscore db so how do i connect it to my laravel 11 that is where i want to add to so remember in our previous class i had already installed laravel 11 um, software and code i already installed the project laravel 11 project on my machine which is this my first laravel 11 so that was the first class in our previous lesson. So yeah, I want to now connect this, my project to my Laravel level underscore DB database. So how do I do that? So it's very, 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 very simple, but a little bit uh, different from other uh, version of Laravel. So you go to your config folder, click on the config folder, then locate database.php. Click on it, then scroll down. Now by default, Laravel 11 use, don't use MySQL. My Laravel 11 uses what is called SQLite. That's what Laravel 11 uses as its database. You can see it for yourself. It doesn't use um, SQL. So now this is uh, SQLite and this is a credential. So before you get to this database.admin, I would like you to go to the .env file, which is our environment variable, which is what we normally do in Laravel. Now, like I said earlier, Laravel 11 uses the SQLite as its main database. So you can see it for yourself on line 22 in the .env file. It uses uh, SQLite. So this is a change. One of the change that Laravel 11 uh, has that previous Laravel do not have. Now, we want to connect to my SQL. We don't want to use SQLite. So what I will do, I will take away the SQLite and put my SQL. Then I will uncomment this because this were commented. I will uncomment this, which I've just done. So my database name is Laravel 11 underscore DB. So I'll change this to Laravel 11 underscore DB. 11 underscore DB. That is the name of my database, Laravel 11 underscore DB, which I've created earlier in my PHP, in my, in PHP my admin. So I will now add to where the config folder now. Inside the config folder, I will click on database.php. Now, I want to focus on my SQL, not SQLite, which is the, the default uh, database connection for Laravel 11. So this is my SQ, this is my SQL, the array, the associative array. So what I'll do, they have database called Laravel by default. So I'll change Laravel to Laravel 11 underscore DB, which is my database. The password is not known, roots as you, as usual now this collection make sure this utf mb4 underscore unicom we're not using unicom here what we're using is general if you go to your php madmin if you click on operations here and you scroll down you will see that we're using the utf8 mb4 mb4 underscore general dot underscore ci so it is the general that exactly what is here is what you're going to put here in your connection. So here I will change this to general. To general, which I've just done. So these are just the things that you need to do. And after doing this, I'll save this. And save all. Then after saving all, after saving this, I key the server key the server already so i have to what i have to migrate this everything so i'll put my migration on php artisan migrates so you have to migrate this migrates migrates press enter 
so i've migrated all the tables users table so after migrating the tables if you go to your php admin database if you come here if you click it you will see these are the tables you can see users section and sessions migration job badges and the rest click on users so you can see that i have the name there's no there's no data yet i have the name email and the rest so that is how we connect our um our database our mysql database to laravel level i hope this video is uh is enough information for you right now so please and um, please subscribe to our youtube channel